Hey guys, Joe here at ECRM's Beauty Week in Palm Desert, California, and I'm with Amy from The Vitamin Shop. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. <laughs> so Amy was one of the panelists yesterday that on the, the panel about uh, beauty, the intersection of wellness and beauty that was moderated by Cantor uh, Consulting. And uh, what I wanted to start off with is what does the intersection of beauty and wellness mean for your uh, retail chain? I would say for my retail chain, we're known as a wellness destination. I would say the big thing for me in the merchandising role is really helping the customer understand exactly what wellness means to her. So whether that is taking an internal hair, skin, and nail supplement to have longer, lustrous hair, whether it's internal uh, supplements that help with antioxidants like a resveratrol, or also topical assortments that contain some of the same ingredients in our superfoods categories, such as Manuka honey, green tea, Jamaican black castor oil. Okay, so so you guys are really initially all about beauty from within. I mean, when you think of beauty from within, it's vitamins and supplements, but you're going beyond that now. Correct. Yeah, so we've actually had a, uh, a beauty assortment in the past. Okay. I would say it was very fragmented. It didn't really speak to the customer the, the way the customer wants to be spoken mm -hmm. to. So really, we're approaching it from a wellness angle at mm -hmm. our stores. So for example, when we're talking about solutions, we're talking about for skin problems or for sensitive skin, you can take uh, green tea products mm -hmm. or you can take the ingestible green tea and make a smoothie out of it. Mm -hmm. So I think there's a lot of ways to approach beauty um, at the vitamin shop. And I would say we're definitely trying to educate her on what does natural skincare mean as part of your wellness routine. Okay, and do you, are you finding that customers, just consumers in general, are a little bit more educated on uh, wellness? I, I've, you know, I listen to a lot of podcasts mm -hmm. like Tim Ferriss, Joe Rogan, Orby Marcus, yeah. and, and it seems that, you know, a lot of people do, and that because of that, they're a little more ahead of the game when it comes to knowledge about right. the effects of different right. supplements. I think definitely the customer is more educated than they were in the years past. I feel mm -hmm. like definitely blogs, social influencers have really helped um, kind of grow these categories. But I, I think there's always room for education. Mm -hmm. And I feel like education is also in the form of some of the packaging that you put on the shelf. So for example, if you are free of sulfates, parabens, SLS, let the customer know that you have those ingredients. Mm -hmm. Those Obviously those ingredients are something that is out in the marketplace that you know a lot of people are talking about and it's not good for you and it's not something that you want to be taking mm -hmm. um, but now really kind of bringing that to the forefront as part of the education piece which is really just what does the what does that product contain on the front of the package versus the back gotcha now speaking of education mm -hmm. one uh, uh, category that uh, you know requires a lot of it which you mentioned mm -hmm. that you guys are in the CBD Yes. <laughs> What's going on with CBD in, in, in yeah. uh, the vitamin shop? Well, we, we have an um, aromatherapy assortment in all stores. Um, there are some local stores that we're not able to carry it in, but for the mo mm -hmm. most part, we are in all stores. Um, and we're really approaching it from that wellness angle. So for example, I have a rollerball that is called Relief. And it's really for that pain relief, it's, it's relief of stress, it's relief of headaches. So you can just roll it on your temples, you can roll it on a few different places where you might have pain, and it really is helping with that wellness piece. And so that's also, uh, you know, we talked about that in the Kantar presentation yesterday, that stress is also part of a wellness routine, and yes, stress yeah. does also affect you from a beauty perspective. Mm -hmm. So it's, we're approaching it from a holistic perspective at the Vitamin Shop. Cool. Well, uh, last question. Uh, when it comes to suppliers looking to mm -hmm. do business with you, how do you recommend, you know, what is the ideal supplier relationship for the vitamin shop? I would say um, coming with great ideas, coming with solutions, and also going back to the education piece. How can, even though our customers are very educated, how can we educate them further? Whether it's working with our health enthusiasts to train um, them to talk to the customer in the right way, or whether it's putting things on the packaging that show 98% naturally derived. Um, I would say that's a big um, big piece of it. And then I would say thinking about a holistic approach. Um, sometimes we get vendors that may, ha may have one item. I would like to see a range of items that really showcase the, what you're talking about, whether it's hair care, body care, face care, or whether it's just you're going for a whole facial care routine. Gotcha. Some good recommendations for you suppliers out there. So thank you again for joining us. Thanks for having me. All right. Me. <laughs>